In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your images using Photop.com to adjust for exposure. Exposure is whether an image is too light or too dark. If your image is too light, meaning that there's so much light in the area that everything gets washed out and you don't have any true blacks in your scene, that is called overexposed. Conversely, in an image that is too dark because you were shooting indoors or in a set uh, or at night, is called underexposed. And that's where our, our lightest portions, such as the shine in people's eyes, are more or less a dark gray instead of being uh, a nice white. So when you want to edit them, take your image, make sure that you're on the correct layer, and if it's just your image, it should be just one layer. Go up to Image, come to Adjustments, and what you want to change is the brightness and contrast. You can edit on your phone or other device, and what you'll want to change is the brightness or contrast. Those are oftentimes separate settings, but in Photop.com, they're put into the same. Because when I click on it, you can see that it opens up another little window. And each of them are their separate sliders, one for brightness and one for contrast. So I'm going to move this over to the side. And you can see that when I raise the slider, it gets a little bit brighter. You want to avoid going too dramatically um, because that'll tend to make things look pixelated and a little strange. Uh, so I'm going to bring the brightness up a little bit. And for this image, I don't want to bring the contrast up because that's going to make my darks dark and my lights light. I'm actually going to bring my contrast down a little bit so that there's a smoother transition across my figure. Now, this looks a lot better than my original. So let's do this one more time with the overexposed. Make sure that you're on your right layer. I'm going to come up to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. I am going to change this. I'm going to bring my brightness down a little bit, but I don't want to bring it down so much that it gets strangely pixelated in the back or that my lightest points, such as the glimmer in their eyes, looks like a dark gray. So I'm going to bring it down just a little bit so that it feels a little bit more natural. And for this image, I actually want to bring the contrast up so that my lights stay light and both my darks go a little bit darker. Again, don't push it too hard. It'll feel a little strange. And that already looks a lot more natural than what my original was. One last method that you can possibly do is you can come to image again, adjustment, and a common tool in most photo editing software though not often on phones, is curves. Curves gives you a fancy kind of graph, but I won't go into too much detail on what it specifically means. If you click and drag onto the line, you can start to adjust the lightness and darkness and a little bit of the colors, depending on what channels you're on. You can move those sliders or you can add extra. And they can get very strange if you go too far. So it's better to do Subtle changes, depending on if you want to darken or lighten things uh, to get your design. And sometimes that works a little bit more fluidly because it's adjusting for contrast and brightness and darkness. So I'm going to press OK. And we can already see that that feels a little bit more natural than our original overexposed design.